All right, hello and welcome. Today is Tuesday, April 28th. Um, as you can see on your canvas, if you go to your canvas, uh, it's just a, a study guide is up. Uh, go ahead and download the study guide. That's your task for the day. You know, uh, we want to start prepping for our test, which is next Monday. You now I did say we'll do a few Mastering Physics, so let's finish up Mastering Physics and then we'll move on to the study guide. And then uh, we'll see if we can do some Kahoot or Quiz Bowl or something on Friday uh, if we have enough people, that is. So tell your friends to wake up early. Alright, so uh, we finished off 13 and now we are on 14. We're almost done. Uh, it's similar to similar to the series circuit uh, where you had a switch. Now we have a parallel circuit with a switch. Um, here, mastering physics number fourteen. So we start with the battery. We have three branches. Drawing sideways. Let's see. And the third branch, oops, well, what happened here? The third branch has a has a has a switch. Like so. Of course, let's consider the circuit shown in the figure with three light bulbs. Uh, each of them are a resistor R, so it has R amount of resistance. It's a variable. Uh, they're all parallel. The circuit also contains an open switch. All right. When the switch is closed, does the intensity of light three increase, decrease, or stay the same? Well, I mean, if you, when the switch is off, when it's open, of course, uh, let's take a look at the current flow diagram. Current comes out. But if the switch is open, it can't get to the third light bulb. Oh, we're stopped. So you have to close the switch, and when you close the switch, now the current can flow. So this is currently, this is uh, currently, this is off. Uh, meaning you have no light. So zero brightness. And then if you turn it on, okay, so we you go from being off to on, what happens to your brightness? Of course, your brightness increases. Okay, so when you turn it on, it's on now. And that means this, even though I drew it as a resistor, I should do light bulbs, so there you go. So now that it's on, it's bright, yay. So yeah, you go from off to on, it's brighter. Uh, do the intensities of light uh, one and two increase, decrease, or stay the same? Ah, now this, in part C, uh, it's a little bit more uh, tricky. So now we have to compare. Again, when we look at brightness, we want to look at the power values. And these are all parallel, and they have the same resistance. So let's take a look at power. Um, power is equal to all sorts of things. It's equal to IV, it's equal to I squared R, but these are not these are not the ones I want to use. I'm going to use the other one, which is v squared over r. Now, why did I choose this third one? Well, because I know what the resistance is. It's r, and I also know what the uh, voltage is. It's v amount of volts. It's whatever the battery is. Well, actually, it says e, so it's not an e. This is a. It's called epsilon. 
So that's the variable they're using. So we have the battery voltage, it's epsilon volts. And then we have the resistor resistance R, resist, uh, R ohms. And so we can figure out what our power is. Okay. Resistors that are in parallel have the same voltage. So the, all three of these resistors are parallel to the battery, so they have to have the same voltage. Um, so P1 is equal to V1 squared over R, and that's equal to epsilon squared over R. Okay. P2 is equal to same thing it's the same voltage so it's epsilon squared and it's the same resistance over r oh look p1 and p2 are the same when it's off okay when it's on nothing has changed really because the voltage of p1 the voltage of p1 is still epsilon because that's what the battery is the battery is not changing uh, And same thing with number two, power two uh, is still the same battery voltage squared divided by the same resistance, right? The fact that you turned it on did not change the brightness of these bulbs. That's why, that's why in your homes, all of your connections, every single outlet port is a connection in parallel, okay? such that when you connect something, connect a light bulb in your room, and then connect a light bulb in, let's say, the kitchen or something like that, and then, you know, the brightness of both bulbs will not be different. Both light bulbs will get the same voltage. Now, of course, you're gonna use more current, you're using more charges per second, okay? But all the electronics work independently and they work at the same voltage rating, right? Whereas we saw in series, the voltage does change. The voltage changes uh, when you have one or two, it matters. So that's why you don't want things in series because in series, it's going to depend on how many things you connect and each object will get a different amount of voltage based on its own resistance. Okay, you can take a look at lab number one and see how the voltage drops were different and it was based on which resistor had the most resistance in series the more resistance you have the more voltage you're going to drop but in parallel all the voltages are the same so as we can see here you same Where's P1? Oh, here's P1. P1. P1 is the same. All right. Uh, the last question, number 15. Number 15 is the same circuit, so we'll just continue on. I'll use a different color. So I'll use pink. So whatever I write in pink is number 15. Um, so same circuit, but in part A it says, when the switch is closed, does the current supplied by the battery increase, decrease, or stay the same? So as we were saying, um, you know, when you're using more things, you're going to use up more power, or more charges per second. So, of course, uh, we'll up. But uh, let's take a look at the diagram here, right? Uh, so we went from this blue stuff. The blue indicates that the current is only flowing through branch one and branch two. And then when I turn the switch on, now we have current going into branch one, two, and three. And we can actually calculate our currents. So let's take a look at current I total. Well, I total before and after. So 
let's see, before and then after. All right. So before we turn the switch on, we only had two resistors that were working or two light bulbs that are working, right? So rec is equal to one over R, oh, whoops, one over one over R. plus one over R, because there's only two. And the rec for two is just half of it, so that's equal to R over two. Right, you get one over two over R, and then if you take the inverse, you get R over two. Okay, if, so rec is half of R, then I total must be the total voltage over rec. Total voltage is epsilon, and the equivalent resistance, REC, is R over 2, which gives us 2 epsilon over R. All right, let's do the after case. Uh, after we turn the switch on, now we have three light bulbs on, so our REC changes. REC is now 1 over 1 over R. It's one over R, it's one over R. Wow, no one is here today. Oh. Either Twitch is bugging out. Or the viewer count is wrong. <laughs> okay, with three resistors in parallel, anytime you open up a new branch, it's like opening up a new lane in the freeway so you get more cars to to flow through your system and if I do this uh, we can see how the resistance is R over 3 it's now a third of R it used to be half of R now it's third of R so it's even less resistance and of course if you have less resistance you're gonna get more current I total is equal to the total voltage, the total voltage is epsilon from the battery, divided by the total resistance. So when, it, when you're measuring or calculating, I should say, when you're calculating total quantities, right, you want to use the total values for both the voltage and the resistance. When you do individual currents, then you have to use the individual values. Uh, R over 3 and this gives us three epsilon over R. So definitely goes up. Phew. More, so when I turn it on, current increases. Uh, Right, so when you have three, when you have three, basically, you know, you know this third branch. So what changed? Just look at the difference. Uh, this third branch here is now drawing some of the current. So when you have three light bulbs that are on, the third one obviously is going to take up more of more charges or more of your power, or I should say, more of your current. It's going to draw it in to turn it on. Um, so you're using up more here. Uh, all right. Um, is there another follow-up? No, there's no follow-ups. Okay, I guess that's the end of Mastering Physics. Yay, Mastering Physics is due on Thursday, so we've pretty much done everything. Um, Are there any questions on the lab? Let's take a look at the lab. Uh, hmm. I don't think I have it. What? <laughs> I don't. Interesting. Let me download it. Complex 2. Oops. What is the lab due? Um, lab three is due May 2nd, which is this Saturday. 
Make sure you turn in the lab before Saturday. All right. Um, so similar to to the things we've done, this is our third time, our third time doing it. So I hope I hope it was a lot easier this time. Um, chat. How do you find total current in lab number three? So we're gonna make sure you finish. Oops. Unit ten. Number three. Uh, anyone in chat can tell us. Please tell us how would one measure the total current? Remember in lab three, the circuit was battery. I guess. Well, the total current is from the battery. So if you put your ammeter right here, right next to the battery, then you can measure total current. Oops, and meter. Yeah, this will measure total current, and uh, and you should see how the total current, I total, has to be equal to I one. That's because whatever current comes out of the battery immediately goes through resistor 1. Okay. Of course, I2 and I3 were different. They're less than the total current. Okay. Uh, finish unit 10, lab 3. And then download download unit 10 study guide from canvas all right so go ahead and download your study guide start doing the study guide uh, this is a short stream today so thanks for tuning in i'll see you next time